Hello and welcome back to another Star Citizen video and this would be the last ship on the list and it is the Drake Ironclad. Now this one I say for the last part because it is a concept ship, it is not flight ready and it is kinda expensive like like much more expensive than the usual ships okay so before we begin like subscribe hit the notification button and help this channel grow and of course big big psa you do not need to buy any of this ship with real money and of course uh, this is a concept ship so you can't even fly in the verse at the moment so that's one small little psa for you guys all you need is a starter pack that's all okay that's number one. Number two, unfortunately, we don't have a direct competitor. Uh, we don't have a direct competitor to Drake Ironclad. No, actually, we do have a few competitors out there. Not direct, okay? This is what you guys have been telling me. There is no apples to apples comparison. And I want to put it as a disclaimer out there. This is not a direct comparison. But what is the competitor? out there for the drake ironclad or rather what is the yeah what is drake ironclad competing with and that's what we're gonna look at it a little bit for this video and of course do note all these are subject to change they are not finalized until the game is released that's what i'm gonna say so, okay you know what the stats are there but even so again everything is subject to change for balancing and whatnot so that's one thing i want to put it out there okay let's dive in quick and we have the new drake ironclad it is the new freighter or rather armored freighter in the verse do we have a proper armored freighter the answer is technically yes with the hercules c2 and m2 and that is the kind of a direct competitor per se because the drake uh, ironclad can do two very important things number one obviously it's cargo but it's not carrying the best cargo versus for example a dedicated hauler like the hall c or hall d now the question is ironclad is right before we go a little bit deeper we want to look at the price tag because the price tag will show us the competitor range per se so we have the ironclad assault at 465 and we have the basic ironclad which is at 400 dollars so with that the answer is the honest the answer the, the closest ship that i can compare to is actually the hercules series it is the hercules c2 c2 can carry up to 696 scu which is uh, not so great hall c is 4608 yeah if i were to go to hall d so let's pick up hall d i need to load up hall d for because hall d is actually hall d is about the same price oh we don't have hall d yeah that's the reason why i didn't load up okay so yeah that's the two comparison. Now the Drake is a little bit better than the usual ships out there because it's an armored and it's a enclosed freighter versus the Hall series. So the closest thing is actually the Hercules C2 and the M2. And by looking at the stats alone, as in the hauling stats, the Drake Ironclad is way better, straight up, way better. Okay, if you're talking about just cargo hauling for its size. And the second thing, the thing that makes Hall C, and uh, Hall C, uh, the thing that makes Hall C great is of course SU. The thing that makes the C2 Hercules, <laughs> wow, there's so many Cs around there except the Ironclad, which is great, right? At least they didn't put a C on the Ironclad. I'm happy with that. Is that it can carry vehicles. That's right. The the ironclad can carry vehicles the hercules obviously was the ship that was made to carry vehicles and it is great so we don't care about the ironclad basic because basic we have 1536 scu however the drake assault where are you assault 
the Drake Assault can carry up to three, at three, up to four Nova tanks. And that is already better than the Hercules, yeah, the Her Hercules Hall. The M2, I think, can only fit up to two. If I'm not mistaken, back to back, this guy can fit up to four. And that is on paper. Okay, quick thing on paper. If it's on practical, obviously, you might be able to squeeze in a little bit more. Okay, but on paper, it is great. And of course, the assault variant has only 1152 SCU. So you trade up one third of its cargo capacity for an assault variant. So what does the assault variant have more? And that's where we go to the stats sheet, right? So armored cargo, crew six, uh, all right, SCU, S3, most of the S3 com um, components, one pilot seat, co-pilot, two remote turrets, two man turrets for the ironclad. And uh, let's see, five, uh, one size five men, two size three, Two size, okay, yeah. two size, three remote and one interior remote. Okay, because I, I read somewhere it was three remotes. Uh, size, wait, 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 hold on a sec, hold on a sec. Let's recheck a little bit. Let me reread a little bit. Okay, tractor beam. We have tractor beams, and that's the reason why I like, All right? Three size, two tractor beam for the ironclad. We're going to get to the the tractor beams and why I think the ironclad is a better ship overall if you want to do cargo hauling. Yep, okay. Uh, not the best, right? The best is still the haul series, but the ironclad I, right now on stats alone, it's actually number two. Number two. Okay, but we are talking about weapons first, the assault, uh, the assault weapons, and we want to see what's the difference, okay. Now we go to go to assault. Assault has one size five, two size three. Uh, this is remote quad, right? And then we have remote. So this is duo. We don't care about the duo. We don't care about this guy. This is the same. So two quads versus no quads. Okay, okay. So more pew pewness. Yeah, size five, size three remote. So let's double check one more time. Size three, uh, size five quads, size three, two size three quads. Okay, yeah, overall PP is much better, much, much better. Pilot, co pilot, four remote turret, two man turret, jump seats. Oh my goodness, this. <laughs> so the assault is technically kind of, kind of replacing a little bit on the Liberator. Although the Liberator is better when you want to put ships. And that's what we're going to talk a little bit about the Ironclad. Okay. It is kind of a Liberator competitor in a way. It's not a direct competitor, but you can do something a little bit. And yeah. Wow. Wow. Okay. So the first and foremost is you can open up the whole entire cargo hall. And with this, you kind of can park some ships inside, okay? We do not know the practicality yet because, again, we do not... This is in concept, so things will change. And then there's a beam over here, which I would guess will move back and forth because this is a tractor beam. And this is where the Drake Ironclad shines, okay? It is the three size two tractor beams. And with that, that means if you want to do looting, the ironclad is better in general, right? After you pew pew and stuff, done. You can come and grab the modules, dump it into the cargo hole, and then run away. Yup, that's it. Now, what's the difference between the assault and the um the so the question is, does the assault has remote turret? In this case, we don't have a number on it. Like, let's see, uh, pilot seat, two remote, three man. Yeah, it doesn't track the beams, three size, two. Okay, this is the base. Does, does it, does it, does it? Utility? No. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. So the assault variant trades up its tractor beam. So no extra utility for the assault variant. Slightly, uh, slightly, uh, cause you're not gonna bring the assault and go pew pew, right? That's for sure. 
all this is just mainly for defense capability. Sure, you might be able to run a few PvE missions. You might scare off a few smaller bounty hunters out there or few small ship aggressors. Yeah, but without the tractor beam, it loses the, the I would say, the most important perk for the ironclad, which is, yeah, which is looting. Looting on the go. Because <laughs> all you need to do is just warp in, right? And then if you see any containers, just beam or all you can put into the cargo hole and then you GTFO. And the best part is if the tractor beam does not require you to get off from uh, the navigation mode, which means it doesn't need to enter master mode, it's going to create a little bit of spice when it comes to combat, right? It's going to be spicy because you can drop in hot and you can warp out. Yeah. But if the iron uh, if the remote turrets requires the ironclad to go into master mode to use it okay then it's going to be a little bit tougher for you to do all these things yeah because master mode will definitely lower down all your speed and everything and then of course you have to switch out to navigation mode in order to use your quantum jump so a little bit more steps and it depends how efficient are you to try uh, to toggle, not say to toggle, to transition in between the two modes. So in a way, actually, I wanted the assault, but looking at the stats, yeah, the base ironclad is slightly better in terms of a utilitarian ship. Okay, but if you own like a Hercules A2, you like guerrilla warfare, you want to do all this, you know, uh, drop ship thingy, then the assault variant is, of course, a better pick. But I want a little bit more utility, so I actually gonna emphasize on this size two tractor beams, and it's three tractor beams. So yeah, if you have a crew, that's great. Again, big ships are not for solo pilot, but I will attempt. <laughs> okay, I will attempt. Let's see. Do we have any? No. Boring, boring skins. Okay, so what about you? Um, factory standard. I uh, skins are boring. Skins are boring. I'm waiting for a pirate skin. Okay, let's put it this way. I'm waiting for a pirate skin. If I can get the skull and bones pirate ship skin on here, pff, oof, it is a good pick. It is a good pick in my opinion. <laughs> okay, and I I believe the ironclad is it's definitely can I say definitely better than the caterpillar before the module system yeah you know what it is actually in between in between if you don't need the modularity if you don't need certain facilities the ironclad is actually a better pick versus the caterpillar yeah because you can you can fit a lot a lot of stuff okay just because it shows cargo does not mean it's cargo so at the same time additional storage with extra security that is a brick do we have a ram yeah, ground loading. So we have cargo ram as well. So basically you can bring a lot, a lot of ground toys or rather toys with you. So in a way, I like to make this as a pseudo pocket carrier. <laughs> and that's where the single player air quotes, okay? It's not viable. A lot of people has pointed out large ship, multi crew ship is never viable for solo in general. But if we can pilot solo, I would love no i would love to challenge myself to pilot solo and see how much activity can i do with it yep and in this case the ironclad has more more things for me to do okay that's for sure that's for sure it's definitely not going to be a combat ship that's that's 100 i'm not going to bring this into combat although i can park it outside of the combat zone bring our ship out bring our tank you know go pew pew and that's about it interesting ship of course price tag is crazy okay if you look at the price tag 400 and 465 for the base ironclad and the assault if it's not warborn 450 535 it is still cheaper than the hercules so in general very simple big ships requires lots and lots of planning and requires whether if you really want or not yeah in general, large ship is not viable. Okay, as I always, I'll, I'll have to put this in, right? Last PSA. <laughs> large ship is never viable for solo play. But I like big ships. And with that, thank you for tuning in. Yeah, that's it.
that's all I have for you for the Drake Ironclad. And until then, again, this is a concept ship. All right, there's a few big disclaimer. I have to put it out there. You do not need to buy it. Even though you can buy it, it is not flight ready. So I would say pick up a CCU instead. All right, don't, don't even bother with the Warborn. In my opinion, don't even bother. Yeah, because that's a lot of money. Lots and lots of money. Okay. And that's all I have for you for today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification button and help this channel grow if you like more Star Citizen. And of course, if you don't like, let me know down in the comments below. And of course, I'll read all your comments as best as I can. Some of them I agree. Some of them I was like, you know what? I'm going to reserve it for another day because some of the things I can do it. But does it mean it is doable? <laughs> that's that. Until then, fly safe and I will see you in the verse.